Hey guys, so I get a ton of requests for um, a skincare routine and I've been talking about doing one for a while because I pretty much have my skincare routine down. And so I thought I would just walk you guys through what my morning skincare routine is. And if you guys like this, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a nighttime routine because they're a little bit different and I use different products. So I'm just gonna put my hair up in this little headband. I got this, this came with something. This is from like Curology. Um, they sent this to me with something and I love it because it keeps my hair back. The majority of my products that I use are by Renee Rollo. Um, Renee Rollo, if you haven't heard of her, is a esthetician. I fell in love with her products last year after like seeing them on like beauty blogs and things like that. Her website, you can like, I'll link it down below, but you can take a skincare quiz and it kind of puts you in a category and then there's products recommended based on your skin type. And she doesn't like follow along the normal like oily, acne prone, like it's just a little bit more nuanced than that. So I highly recommend taking the quiz and finding out a little bit more about your skin, even if you don't end up getting her product. She has like an amazing blog um, where she like kind of shares her expertise. I also um, had the pleasure of getting a facial from her this year um, and I'll link that up here if you haven't seen that or it's up here or whatever you'll see it up here I never know where it is but this video is not sponsored by her or anybody whatsoever this is genuinely what I use and what works for me um, after finding her products like it has changed my skin for the better so much like I can't I can't stress that enough so her products are a little bit pricey they're not like the highest price point but there's around like Sephora price point so again like this is just what I use doesn't have to be what you use but I'll talk a little bit about the ingredients so if you have something similar at home to match your budget that's fine what I use for cleanser every morning and night is I use the Rene Rouleau moisture protecting cleanser um, again so I'm just gonna be talking about morning routine this time so I'm not gonna be talking about like makeup removal or, or anything like that. Um, but I will save that for another video if you guys are interested. Um, so I use this moisture protecting cleanser. It's a gel to milk formula, perfectly pH balanced. So I love this just because it doesn't strip my skin. It takes off like any like dirt or oil that I've like, you know, or sweat or whatever. And um, it doesn't leave my skin like tight and dry. Um, so I love that and I use that every single morning. Then I follow up with her Elderberry Soothing Toner. So just give a little bit of, of history about my skin because I'm gonna be recommending products that work for me. My skin is very dehydrated, so it's not dry and flaky. Like I still produce oil in my T-zone mostly, so I do get like clogged pores and blackheads, but my skin feels tight and dry. So my skin needs a lot of moisture, but it needs to be light. Um, otherwise it can I'm prone to like pore clogging so I do want something that helps control breakouts I'm not getting like cystic acne or anything like that but just to control um, the congestion in my t-zone I like to use things that exfoliate the skin um, I am concerned of first signs of aging so I do want that anti-aging and again the hydration without being too much to where it's like clogging my pores so that's my skin type so I use this elderberry soothing toner this product hands down is like what changed my skin so much and that's because I was always like layering on more and more moisture and thicker creams and extra serums and oils and things like that because my skin just always felt tight and dry and I couldn't figure out why and it turns out I think I just needed like that little bit of extra like moisture right after cleansing before I went on to like my serums and moisturizer. I use, I either take it on my hand like an essence, and this is an alcohol free toner so you want to be sure to do alcohol free um, because that can just be really drying on the skin. So I got these um, reusable toner pads. Um, these are, I think I got them off Amazon, you can get like a whole pack. Um, so I got these so you can just throw them in the wash when you're finished with them. So I take one of these. Again, I sometimes just use my hand if you don't have these. Um, and I just put a little bit on. And you wanna do this right after you wash your face because now I already washed my face and now I've been talking to you guys for a while so my skin is feeling really tight and dry. But right after you wash it, I go right in with the toner and just put that moisture back into my skin right away. And then while my skin is still damp is when I move on to the serum. You know, I'm not an expert, but just from what I've learned from like reading and from talking to Renee is that um, skin is like a sponge 
and so when it's really dry it doesn't absorb things as well than when a sponge is, is damp. So when your skin is damp, anything you put over top of it is gonna absorb much better. So that's why a toner is really important. And I always thought it was like kind of gimmicky and I just never used a toner. Like to me, I guess like growing up, like toner was always about like alcohol and like pores being shrunken and things like that. To me, a toner just like seem drying to me so this one i i've gone through this is like my third bottle and i love it so much so i'm not gonna move on to serums yet because i'm gonna be talking about a mat two masks actually and i don't do this every single morning and it's not necessarily designated to morning sometimes i do it at night just depending on what you know what i have going on that day and how much time i have um, but i wanted to show you guys because it is part of like my daily skincare routine on days that i use it so once a week i do um, a double mask and the two masks I use are by Renee Merlot, and it's the Triple Berry Smoothing Peel. And this one is what I'm going to do first. And this one, like, looks and smells like jam. It smells so good, but it has, it's um, an exfoliating mask. So this, like, you leave it on for 10 minutes. It breaks down all of, like, the dead skin. It cleans out the pores. Um, you know, it leaves your skin feeling smooth. And then I follow up with their detox mask. And this one, I love so much because it's a gel and it has like gold like shimmers in it. it. Smells so good. It has like tea tree oil and things in it. But this is like a hydrating um, detox mask. So a lot of masks out there that are for like cleaning your pores and detoxifying are like clay based and they like suck the moisture out of my skin. So anytime I use like a clay based mask, it just like destroys my skin. So when I found this one, it's like amazing. So I can like really like treat breakouts and blackheads and like clear out my pores without that like drying mask. So I do the toner first. Um, again, just to like dampen the skin so that um, it doesn't get too dry. And then I'll just go in with my fingers. Please don't mind my nails. I've been picking my gel polish off. I can't help myself. I got nothing else to do. Um, so I just spread it on. It looks kind of crazy like you're rubbing jelly all in your face, but um, if you're a little bit sensitive, you might feel like some tingles. I don't feel it tingle that much anymore just because I'm used to it. But every now and again, it just smells so good. Like it smells like sour, like raspberry jelly or something. So that's all I do for this mask. So then I'll like go on and like, you know, brush my teeth or feed my cats or whatever while this kind of, I give it time to work. And then in 10 minutes, I'll come back and wash this off. Okay, so I'm back, it's been about 10 minutes. And then I like to take, you can take a washcloth or you can just rinse it, but I feel like it's harder to get off by just using water. So I take um, a damp one of these reusable guys and I just wipe it off. I shouldn't be wearing all white when I'm doing this, but I didn't exactly know I was going to be filming this today. I then go in with the detox mask, and I just do the same thing. And I always double uh, mask when I use these because the first one helps to dissolve um, any dead skin, where I feel like if I were to just put this one on, that it wouldn't necessarily be able to penetrate into the pore as well. Um, because there would be like dead skin and stuff on them on my skin So I like to do the exfoliating one first and then I follow up with this and this just helps to like calm the skin It's very cooling and soothing. It smells so good and like medicinal. I love using this and uh, And then this again has like tea tree oil and stuff so it helps to like clear out the pores um, helps like heal any blemishes you may have so um, this one is a lot less crazy to to use like you can definitely like go check your mail or something if you need to and then I leave this one on for about 15 minutes but there's no danger in leaving this one on longer like the other one though so there's no like anything that's gonna like burn your skin so um, you know you can leave it on for like 5 10 15 20 however long you want um, I usually leave it on for like 10 to 15 so um, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I'll be back to take it off okay so it's been about 10 15 minutes the sun is coming in hot in here so it's positively blasting in the face but um, I hope the lighting's still okay so now I'm just gonna wipe this off 
It never dries or anything, so it's easy to get off. Um, which is another thing I hate about clay masks. Okay, now I'm just gonna splash with water to make sure I have everything taken off. Okay, and now and now I wipe my face to the top. Okay, now for the fun stuff. So now my face is clean and I've done both masks. So I know that it has like no dead skin, my pores are clear. So then I take another one of these, I go back in with the toner. Again, on the days where I don't do the masks, I skip those steps and I just do toner. I love this part, it just feels so good. And then the serum I use in the morning is the Rene Rouleau Vitamin C and E treatment. And um, Ted? And um, this is um, obviously a vitamin C, but it comes out like a lotion. If you guys have used vitamin C serums, a lot of them are really unpleasant to use. Um, and I've tried quite a few. And the ones that are like orange and kind of liquidy, they always like oxidize in my pores and like make my blackheads look worse. So I always come back to this one whenever I change it up. And I just like love, it smells like so like fresh, kind of orangey, but like really natural. And I like that it's kind of like a light, like lotion-y texture. There is a bug trying to get in my freaking window. Get out of here. We're too long skincare. So this um, has like a light lotion-y texture. So already it feels like I am hydrating my skin. And it recommends to like let it absorb for about a minute. So I usually um, put it on and then I'll go in and just with like deodorant and like or put my clothes on or something that takes like a short amount of time just to let it kind of like have a moment before I follow up with sunscreen. Just for the sake of this video, let's pretend I did that. Um, and then for sunscreen, so this is where my routine has changed a little bit. Um, so I used to then use Embryolease every morning and night. And I still use this, but not in the morning. Um, so I used to do Embryolease and then I would follow up with sunscreen on top of that. And I was using the Neogen Daylight Protection Sunscreen, which is a really hydrating sunscreen. Um, I still love that. But um, instead of using like two heavy products during the day, which I feel like were exacerbating my clogged pores and things, um, I now uh, just use the Rene Rouleau sunscreen. And this is a hydrating sunscreen, so it's not like a two-in-one, but um, it is a sunscreen with hydrators in it. So you wanna be careful if you're like, oh, well, my moisturizer has sunscreen in it. It might not have as much sunscreen in it as you think. So this is a sunscreen, but it has hydrating um, properties. So I this is enough for me um, after I've done like the toner and then the vitamin C serum I then follow up with this um, And it's the weightless SPF 30 and I use quite a bit like this amount um, Which might not look like that much, but um, I spread it all the way around And it like is gonna feel like way too much But this is how much sunscreen you want to be using Otherwise, you just might not be getting the full amount. So I always do like my ears, my neck, really well, and I just like go everywhere. Um, it's not like don't get sunscreen in your eyes, but I always go like across the eyelids and under the eye just to make sure everything's protected. Um, and it, this, I don't, oop, I just knocked an earring off. And I just don't have a problem with this burning my eyes, but um, you know, not to say that you wouldn't, so just be careful. This is like not a super greasy product, but it does like dry pretty matte, so it looks kind of like greasy now, but it, that will dissipate. But honestly, I wish it didn't, just because I, I love when skincare looks really greasy. Um, but yeah, it's a sunscreen, so it kind of has like that typical sunscreen-y feeling, but then it, it sinks in and it's fine. Um, and same with the white cast, like it leaves me a little bit white at first, and then but once I rub it in, then it goes away. Um, so I love this. Um, but it took me a minute to like to get used to not using that thick embryo lease and then the sunscreen on top. But once I got my skin on this routine, I found that I really didn't need all of that extra stuff once I'm layering these like thinner products. And so that's it. At the moment, I don't use an eye cream. I just do um, all of my products all up under the eye. Um, I haven't decided if I think an eye cream is worth it or not. I mean, any eye cream I've found just doesn't, like, 
do that much to like warrant the extra step um, but sometimes I do but yeah so then this is my full morning routine I do this every single day again not the masks but if I wasn't doing the mask I do cleanser toner the vitamin C serum the sunscreen and this is my whole routine and I feel like my skin hasn't looked better um, in so so long and um, yeah so I hope this was fun or helpful or just entertaining um i got a lot of requests so yeah just let me know um if you guys would like to see a nighttime routine because there's some other serums i kind of work into the picture and i can go into like how i take off my makeup too at the end of the day um so let me know and thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video <laughs> thank you, thank you.